guys. Uh, I'm working on a couple of uh, projects uh, which I usually do all at the same time. Uh, this is my uh, grey water tank which I'll be installing soon hopefully. Uh, but um, actually I'm working on uh, a design for a separating toilet, sort of composting toilet. Um, and just wanted to show you how I approach things from the beginning. Uh, and that's in this case the design. Um, so I'll go to the computer and uh, I'll show it to you. I'm behind the computer now. So uh, this is the way I approach things when I try to design something for the, for the van. Um, I start with a blank canvas of course and I put a series of uh, pictures together just to show you uh, what I'm doing. Um, I'm starting incorrectly so I'll try to do it again. Uh, the first thing I do and that's mostly in my head before I do anything on paper is um, to see what kinds of materials I need, what's available, what the cost is uh, and, and most importantly I think is uh, whether I can really work with the materials itself. Uh, so here on, on the left uh, this was more or less the basic concept that I, uh, I liked very much uh, uh, and besides some of the extras that I don't need uh, is the type of uh, lid over here uh, with one side bending upwards uh, to, to give you some kind of a hold to pull it up that, that is something nice and it may, it, this is made out of wood or plywood which is uh, very easy for me to work with. Uh, and the second thing is, is the form of the uh, toilet, which is a little bit slanted inwards towards the bottom. Uh, this was made with yeah, slats put together. Uh, that's all angled, so it's, it's quite complicated. I've done that before, uh, but that's uh, quite feasible. I might do it in a different, entirely different way. Um, and, and then what is, is important as well is the finish. This is a, a sort of stainless steel sheet that's laid on top of that. And that is all something I, 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 I'm able to do. Uh, I have to figure out where I get the materials and so on, but uh, that's no problem. Um, so I settled for this type of design. Uh, and then of course I need it uh, uh, at least uh, because it's a separating toilet it's some kind of separator of the uh, of the fluids of, and the sol solids so you can go either with a uh, sorry uh, with a uh, simple just for the fluids and then have an open bucket but you there's also available uh, these types of uh, things um, uh, that are more or less full, so it's it's a little bit nicer, more expensive too. So, it, it, but th those are the type of things that I at least need, and those are available. Those are in in my price range, so I can make a final decision uh, whenever I start working on uh, on the toilet. Uh, and then, uh, of course, uh, yeah, the end result should look something like this. If you look at especially the this the further, uh, the salts in the back and the fluids here in the front. Uh, so it gives you some idea how it might look like in the end when, uh, when it's finished. Uh, after doing the materials, uh, it's a matter of uh, some measurements, taking some measurements. So the next step what I do is uh, I'll take some measurements uh, from my uh, standard toilet at home so you have to know how wide it approximately is, uh, how deep it approximately is and how high especially because you have to have a, a reasonably high seat. Then the next thing is I have to start working about or at least thinking about the location of the toilet in the van. So I made a, a rough sketch of the, of the top view of the layout and you can see this uh, it's the passenger side, this. Uh, the driver's side is at the top more or less. Um, then you would have on the left hand side you have the rear wheel well here. Uh, and then after that you have that tall cabinet where my fridge is uh, located in and the kitchen next to that. Uh, on the other side uh, where the sli there's a sliding door that's uh, out here approximately. Uh, and the sizes are, are fairly accurate but it's not as detailed as, uh, as it could be. 
Uh, and then what is important that in front of that sliding door there's a stepping area which is a little bit lower so the floor is lower and I have to take that into account when, when I'm placing the toilet. The only way for me to place a, um, a toilet here um, would be to turn the toilet sideways. So uh, let me see. That would be like this uh, and place it somewhere out there that I can figure that out. The other option that I found is to place it here on the right hand side so uh, next to the sliding door so when the sliding door would go open that cabinet would be visible the cabinet not the toilet of course it's inside it's all covered up. Hi Joey this seems to me a better solution uh, and for the main reason is that it would fit within these, these lower cabinets, these of about 15 inch depth um, and then I would be able to uh, slide that, that toilet either out this way or that way uh, and then I would be able to sit with my feet in this area and this area is about uh, 26 to 30 inches wide. The reason for doing that is first of all if the toilet stays against the side wall you have a, only a very narrow area to sit on which is a little bit too narrow. Uh, so it would be nice if you slide it out then you would have about 5 inches on on each side and that would make it more comfortable just to sit on the toilet itself. Uh, the second thing is that if you leave the toilet against the wall or against the sliding door uh, then you would be uh, have a problem with this stepping area because your feet would be dangling down in this, this four inch deeper hole, let me say it that way. So if you slide it over there you would be able to put your feet on solid on the solid floor. The next thing is that we have to look at the height of the toilet. So I put another side view here. Uh, this is from inside looking outwards on, uh, on the passenger side. This is the sliding door between here and there approximately with the window in there. Uh, and here on the right is the rear window and this is the side wall of the tall closet. Uh, where the fridge is, here to, to the right, that's where the fridge is, and there will be a second tall cabinet next to here, that's in front of the wheel well, and then from there I wanted to have a lower, cab lower area with cabinets out here that goes towards partly next to the sliding door. Um, however, the height of that cabinet, uh, I thought that 25 inches would be a good good size. Um, I came out in this case to about 23 and a half or so uh, and that's still variable. It, it depends a little bit upon how things work out so that's that's a reasonable height. <coughs> um, what I uh, project then if, if that if I have here, a 30, this is a 30 inch wide opening where you can step into the van and out again. Um, Then I place the, the, the toilet with the toilet lid here and the bucket uh, more or less just next to the opening where the opening starts with the, the sliding door and this is a step in area that's a little bit below so you have to keep that in mind uh, but now it's about the height the height of the, the this this is the right height for the seat uh, which is uh, I think about 16, 16 and a half inches or so um, but I have to make some kind of a cover that is in line with the other cabinets that is at about a height of about 25 inches, 23, 25 inches. So what I imagined is, is making a, a, a lid that covers that toilet and then that would have a, let me see, it would have a hinge 
at this point I'll do this way and then turn over onto the other cabinets that's the way it would work then and then I would be able to open that up and then slide the toilet out more or less towards you in this case towards the bed that's here um, and then use the toilet uh, the convenient thing of that is I have about four or five inches available here in height and I can use that top of the toilet uh, as a storage area and I could put in some uh, at least a, a few uh, rolls of uh, toilet paper and uh, perhaps uh, some uh, paper towels or something. The next step was just to check the, the front of the toilet. So now you're looking from the uh, cabin, you look backwards towards the rear, then you have a bed on the right hand side when it's down, in this case when it's down, and that's about 25 inches high, and that's important. And here on the left hand side I have uh, my sliding door, sorry, here, yeah, that's the sliding door. I got the step in area here. Uh, and this is the toilet. This is the lid. The lid would go up and over to the, towards the back. Uh, this is the toilet with a, yeah, the solid part on the rear and the fluids uh, on the front. And the bucket is here. If you uh, slide it out, the toilet, then that top would fall over. You, you can see that here. That's that's top folded over, uh, and the toilet would slide out this way. And then you would have five or six inches here on the left hand side, and and probably about four inches or, or so available on the right hand side, which makes it comfortable to to sit on, uh, and that would work too. And you can see that. With regard to that stepping area, this the way you place your feet when you're on the toilet, uh, that would be on solid ground, so that would work out too. So the next step would be to make some uh, exact measurements and take those measurements and go in the workshop and make the toilet. That's next. Hi guys, this is Joey, and we're building a one-of-a-kind RV. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe, or better yet, uh, leave a comment. Thanks guys! Done a good job!